Okay, the next project, get this transmission out of the truck and prep the area for the donor new transmission. So the first step here is to unplug this um, 12 volt here. It's running to a sensor, I'm guessing it's an oil sensor, uh, oil level sensor on the transmission. Not sure on that. Um, unplug this wiring harness here. There's two airlines that have to go up here. Have to get the shift linkage out of the way. And then I know I have one airline that runs this white one that runs down to the tank that has to be pulled out. Then of course the clutch has to be pulled. We have to get that out of there. And then all the bell housing bolts, of course, and the drive shaft. Yeah, let's get started. Uh, it's the first time I've done this particular style of U-joint, so yeah, it'll be a little interesting. Let's get going. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do here is take this cap off. Um, oh, actually I have to bend. There's a flange on there. So they have little metal keepers on here. Make sure these bolts don't back off. Okay, we got the keeper off. Um, I'm gonna do the other side. So because I have only one axle with tires on it right now, and the diff is open, the differential, I can rotate the drive shaft. Um, if you're doing this with all, all your axles on the ground, you'll have to move the truck back and forward, which is kind of a pain. That would have cut my finger pretty good. So there are dents on both sides of this drive shaft. I'm sure it's from the last person getting it all lined up and they're driving these caps out and they just beat on this drive shaft, which is definitely not the right thing to do. I'm even hesitant to beat on the yoke, but I think that's where I'm gonna have to hit. So, so I'm gonna try basically hit on both sides of here to push the whole uh, actual U-joint down so that this cap is, so the bottom cap is pushed out. There we go. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, I still need to pull my carrier bearing back there so I can change the geometry on it and allow the the uh, drive shaft to slide back. Okay to uh, take this carrier bearing off which holds this section this end of the drive shaft in place just two bolts right here and then it will just come right out in theory. Okay, the drive shaft is now hanging suspended and I can push this back out. Oh, 
There we go. That was not easy. So here's the clutch linkage. Just a cotter pin. Connection, pretty simple. So I like to put the hardware back together as much as I can, just so I can remember how things go. And I'm not searching for that particular pin when I'm going to reassemble stuff. Okay, the shifter, gonna be a little bit more of a challenge. I have a cotter pin protected castle nut in the back here. handler in place, some rigging, and I am almost ready to pull the transmission. I have all of the bell housing bolts off the back bottom side. I have it rigged up with some rearward bias on the strapping, and I'm hoping that using, I almost wish I had two of these come alongs or the ability to tension this, the strap separately. I'm hoping to be able to basically just use the telehandler to adjust this by rotating by rotating the forks up and down and then taking up the slack with this so I can pull it straight out because you have to there's a input shaft on the transmission that needs to go be wiggled through here so it'll be a little interesting it's, like I said you're experiencing my first transmission pulling right now so hopefully it goes well so I'm gonna take the rest of the bell housing bolts off and see if we can get the bell housing separated from the back of the block that's what I was afraid of broke that bolt off Let's see if I can get this one to move at least it's the easiest one to try to get that those threads out. That's unfortunate that I broke that bolt off. At least it's gonna be a relatively easy one to fix. Yeah. Don't like using impacts on stuff like this, but oh well.
I'm gonna pull off this support so I can get it out of the, uh, up out of the frame. Well, the transmission's sitting on a pallet. I think that's a job well done. I think this is where I'm gonna call it for this uh, video here. Getting this truck stripped down to the point where it is now was basically two weekends worth of work. Um, yeah, the next step is I'm going to get the frame ready for some paint. We're gonna splash some paint on it, hopefully on a nice warm day. And then we'll be to the point where we can start putting things back together instead of tearing them apart. So I'm very excited to get this transmission out. It was definitely one of the more daunting parts of the project for me, being that I hadn't done one before. So yeah, it's nice to see it on the pallet. I want to thank you guys all for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.